If you've ever wanted to know how to build funnels for your business, I'm sure you've come across a company called ClickFunnels. So what I'm going to be doing today is to take a look at another plugin for the WordPress side of things called Cardflows. Let's compare the features, see what it can do for us. And also, if you stick with me till the end of this video, I have some amazing bonuses for you. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to go through all the features, what's best on card flows and what's best on click funnels and help you decide which option is better for you. All right, so this is the main website for click funnels. As you can see, it's got great copy and they do a fantastic job of the marketing. And in fact, the training is also fantastic. So let's take a look at the dashboard. So I'm gonna start over here with card flows. So card flows lives within WordPress. So it's a plugin that you install and it is added to your WordPress install. So as you can see here, I don't have any flows installed. Now what flows are in card flows are pretty much the funnels. So over here, if you want to add a brand new one, you can just come over here, click on add new. And then we have some templates here. But over here, we can see that we don't really have quite a lot of templates to, uh, to begin with. So uh, we'll be also showing you what uh, uh, ClickFunnels has so that we can compare both. But here, pretty much, you know, you have just a few templates. However, you can go in and customize this however you want. And also the beauty is if you're on the WordPress side of things, you can either choose to use Divi, Elementor, Beaver Builder, and Thrive Architect. So these are page builders that are, that are really, really common out there, fantastic page builders. So you can actually uh, use card flows with any of these page builders. All right, so uh, pretty much if you want to uh, install your flows, you can just come over here, click on uh, preview first, just to have a look at what it looks like. And then if you're happy with what it looks like, you can just go ahead and click import. So after clicking import, it downloads all the steps that you need in that flow. So over here, we can see we have the landing page, we have the checkout page and the thank you page. So this is a basic one. However, you can add even more steps. So this is where you can start adding your upsells, down sells and so on. So to add a new step, all you have to do is to come over here, click on add new. And then here you can see we have landing, we have checkout, we have uh, upsells. So on the checkout here, you can choose a specific checkout layout that you want for your uh, funnels. And then over here, we have the upsells. And again, we have quite a few templates here. And we also have some down, down sells as well. Okay, so pretty much that's how, that, that's how it works. And then over here, you can give your funnel a name. So I'm just gonna call this test. And then pretty much once you've done that, you can click on update, and then you can view uh, this landing page. So once you view it, uh, you can then go in and start making changes to it. So pretty much that's how it is inside the world of card flows. But of course, I haven't covered all the steps because you also do need to add some products uh, that you need for, for that flow. Okay, so over here on ClickFunnels, this is how the dashboard looks. And to be honest, I really like the fact that you can see everything all on one uh, login. So over here, we have your contacts. You can see all your contacts, your visitors. You can view your pages. You can also view your funnels. And then over here, if you have any affiliate earnings, it also shows you all that all that on the main sort of uh, dashboard. So I think this is really cool. Now, let's say you want to add a funnel. All you have to do is to come over here to the top click on funnels, and then this is where all your funnels would show. So I have one here already. I'm gonna click here on uh, click funnel affiliate, and this is how you'd add your steps. So if I click here on add new step, it shows me, I mean, I can just name my step here. I can just call this uh, down sell, for example, and then this adds that step. So similar to what Cutflows has, you also have these steps here in order. Now over here, uh, and this is what I was talking about. When it comes to the templates, I think ClickFunnels has more templates, but of course, you know, they may not look exactly like how you want them. So as a designer, you may want to go in and add your custom colors and also change things a bit. So this again has its own page builder. So in fact, let me show you what that page builder looks like. So I'm gonna come over here on one of these pages and then click on edit. So if you're familiar with, um, Divi or Elementor, you'll, you'll notice that this is quite similar because it has sections, it also has rows, and it also has elements. So let's say I wanna add something here. I can just click here on this new element, and then it shows me how many columns I can add in there. And let's say I want to add um, 
an image, I can just come over here, click on image, or if it's a video, I can just click here on video. And as you can see, it has been added. Now, all I have to do to customize this is to go in now into this gear icon, into the settings, and then I can uh, embed the video from either Vimeo or YouTube or any hosting platform. Okay, so pretty much it's, uh, it's a basic uh, builder. It's very, very easy to use. It's drag and drop. Okay, so let's take a look at the features here. So first of all, here we have unlimited funnels for both click funnels and cut flows. They both have great support. And when it comes to the uh, templates, I think click funnels has a bit of an edge here. They have more funnels and also they have a marketplace. Over here on click on cut flows, they have free templates, but you know, uh, uh, quite a few are being added every now and again. I'm pretty sure in the near future, there'll be quite a lot to choose from. And also they have the flexibility of using these with different page builders. Okay, so moving on, uh, ClickFunnels has A-B testing. So when it comes to your landing pages, you can either choose, you know, um, between two versions and see which one is working better. On card flows, this feature is coming soon. And um, based on how I've been monitoring what's happening with uh, card flows, they are fantastic when it comes to coming out with new features or if there's anything mix missing, they are very, very good at uh, making sure those are added. And also as I'm comparing these, uh, these two companies, you often have to bear in mind that uh, ClickFunnels has been out there for a very, very long time and uh, Cutflows is pretty much a new company. When it comes to the community, uh, again, based on the uh, time, uh, ClickFunnels has been out there. It has a massive community, both on Facebook and also they have events that uh, they uh, invite people and so on. But uh, over here on um, Cutflows, they also have a community, but it's not as big as Click funnels. Moving on, now we also have the ability to share the funnel. So let's say you create a funnel and it's working fantastic for you. You also have the ability to share it. So you can export it and share it or even sell it if you want to do that. Okay, so both platforms has that same feature. Now when it comes to page builders, both of these have page builders, but uh, in my opinion, I think when it comes to DV, Elementor, or any of these page builders, they have far more advanced features because they're primarily built as page builders. Whereas with ClickFunnels, it's pretty much a page builder, which just which is just there to just do the job. So it doesn't have all these bells and whistles that DV has, for example. So in my opinion, it just does the job and we can't really compare these two page builders, you know, outright because these two are totally different. Uh, Divi is purely a page builder or Elementor, but when it comes to uh, ClickFunnels, they just built a page builder that works for their system. Okay, so let's move on to the training. And over here again, training, uh, ClickFunnels has fantastic training. I mean, they have books, they have videos. I mean, they have a ton of training. Now, over on the um, Cutflow side of things, they have a new training platform that is uh, still in development. It's called Skilljet. It's going to have pretty much all the training that you're going to need in order for you to uh, create amazing funnels. When we take a look at these two platforms, one of them is a software as a service, which means it's hosted. All you have to do is to log in and you can build all your funnels that way. And when it comes to card flows, basically you can host your own website and own all the data. Okay, so let's move on and take a look at the pricing. So when it comes to the pricing, as I mentioned, ClickFunnels is an all-in-one platform. It has pretty much everything that you need. It has the email autoresponder, subscriptions, memberships, all in one place. And also you don't have to worry about the hosting because everything is all hosted on one platform. So this will give you a total of 3,564 per year or 297 per month. Now over here on uh, card flows, there's a few things that you have to have in place in order for you to pretty much match what we have here with click funnels. So for example, uh, you're going to need the plugin itself, card flows that allows you to create the funnels. You're also going to need an email autoresponder. So in this case, I've chosen um, convert kit, which will bring you up to about 348 per year. You're also going to need some hosting. Uh, and this is from SiteGround. That's about $59 per year. 
You're also going to need a page builder. Now I've chosen Divi here, it's fantastic. And uh, I've used it for quite a while. So this is what I find comfortable with and it has quite a lot of features. So that's gonna cost you another 89 per year. So let's say you just wanna create funnels and that's it. This is going to cost you $795 per year. So this compared to 3,564, there's a massive, massive difference. So this is where you have to decide how you want, uh, which way you want to go. Do you want an all-in-one platform where you don't have to set up all these things um, on the WordPress side of things? Or do you just want everything under one umbrella as we have with Cardflow? So you would have to make a decision here based obviously on the price. So let's say you, or you want to add some extra features. So for example, maybe you're selling a product or a service which is subscription based. This is where you want to buy an extra plugin here called WooCommerce Subscriptions. It's cost, it costs 199. And uh, let's say you want to add some sort of uh, learning management system and you want to have your courses on your website, this is also going to cost you another 247 because this will, uh, uh, WP Fusion will allow you to uh, add, uh, integrate all this together. And uh, you're also going to need the Learn Dash plugin, which costs $89. And then finally, let's say you want to run an affiliate program where people can also sell your product for you. This is where you're also going to need another plugin, which costs $99. So all in all, it's going to come to a total of 1,429 per year if you decide to have all those extra features. So if you just want to build funnels for your website, pretty much you can get away with 795 per year. And this works out to be $69 per month. And if you add all these extras like subscriptions, the membership, the Learn Dash, and uh, the affiliate platform, it's gonna cost you about 119 per month. So as you can see on the WordPress side of things, you have some sort of flexibility. You can choose to have certain features and choose not to have certain features. Whereas with uh, ClickFunnels, what you have is just one system that has everything under under one umbrella. However, there's also a um, option here on ClickFunnels where you can pay uh, $97 per month, which will come close to about $1,512 per year. Now with this, what you get is 20 funnels only, 100 pages, and three custom domains. Now, if you just want something really, really basic, this is an option that you could go with, but bear in mind, you won't have subscriptions, you won't have memberships, you won't have the email autoresponder, and all that good stuff. So if you have uh, the basic plan on uh, ClickFunnels, that's basically all you get. All you get is just 20 funnels, 100 pages, three custom domains, and you also have to get your own email autoresponder, and this will bring you to 126 per month. Okay, so let's take a look at the affiliate commissions if you decide to promote either of these products. So when we take a look at uh, ClickFunnels, they have a 40% recurring commission, which is, uh, in my opinion, fantastic. Of course, if you do a very good job of getting those affiliates. So how it works is, if you get people to come and start using ClickFunnels, you get 40% per month as long as that person is still on ClickFunnels. And also they have a dream car. And this is where if you get 100 uh, subscribers to ClickFunnels, you would, uh, they would pay towards your dream car. And I think this is also fantastic. And they also have some training called Affiliate Marketing Bootcamp where they can help you get to those 100 um, customers. Now over here on uh, Cardflows, they only have a flat 20% one-off payment for each customer that you bring in. So if you wanna be an affiliate marketer and promote these two products, I'm sure as you can see, you'll be leaning more towards the uh, ClickFunnels. Okay, so I'm um, pretty much right now you're on the fence in regards to which one you choose. So let's go through these features one more time. So when we take a look at ClickFunnels, it's an all-in-one platform. So everything is under one umbrella. So this may be something that is appealing to you. And also when it comes to learning the platform, you're just learning just one platform and that's it. 
When you take a look at uh, cart flows, there's a bit more to learn depending on how complex you want your system to be. So each plugin that you're going to install is going to come with its own complexities. And also sometimes if you don't take care of your system, you may also run into problems of conflicts and things may uh, not be working quite well. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing and this is the pricing. And as I mentioned before, it's a bit more expensive on uh, the the click funnel side of things is 297 per month for the full package and if you compare here it's about 119 per month if you want to have all these extra things that i spoke about but if you just want a basic system that just gives you funnels you'll be fine with 66 per month so it's a massive difference 66 dollars per month versus 297 per month okay so let's move on to the next thing and this may be something that um you may find as an advantage or something you may not be comfortable with. So when you take a look at ClickFunnels, basically you're renting that platform, you're renting that technology, so you don't really own anything on that platform. Now over here on Cartflows and WordPress, basically you're hosting your own platform and all your data belongs to you. And if you have a blog and you're driving traffic to it, the traffic is coming to your own main website. Now let's move on to the next thing. And if you're just getting started, the training is great with ClickFunnels. Without a doubt, they have books, they have a lot of tutorials, they have videos uh, inside their platform and they teach you how to, you know, uh, how to get up and running really, really fast. Over there on uh, Cutflows, as I mentioned earlier on, there is Skilljet, it's uh, on its way, and I'm sure it's gonna be a fantastic platform once it's out there. And uh, the affiliate program, again, is great with uh, ClickFunnels. Commissions are much, much better uh, as compared to Cutflows. So if you're on the fence and you're still deciding whether you should use Cutflows or ClickFunnels, well, I can help you make the decision fast. And let's say you're a WordPress user, you're already familiar with WordPress, then it makes sense to go with Cutflows because it integrates into WordPress and also it's much cheaper. Now, if you want to go with uh, ClickFunnels, Yes, that may be ideal if you're looking for a situation where you have everything all under one umbrella and you also have the budget to spend on that platform. So I did promise you that if you stick with me till the end of this video, I have a fantastic bonus. So whichever, whichever platform you decide to choose, whether ClickFunnels or Cartflows, it's going to come with a learning curve. And sometimes it can be very frustrating because you'll really have to learn how each or either of these systems work. So what I've done here is I've created two courses and these two courses are pretty much uh, mastery courses. So one of them is ClickFunnels mastery course and Cutflows mastery course. And these courses are designed to take you from beginner to expert in very short time. This will come with uh, the builder training, the funnel training, creating your first offer. I will also have some templates and you'll also have access to my Facebook private group and any future courses that I create, you'll also have a 50% discount. Now, these two courses are going to be costing 297. So whichever one you choose, I mean, the price is the same, but you will get it absolutely free if you buy either of these funnel builders using my affiliate link. So all you have to do is to go to the link in the show notes below, choose whichever you want to go with and just send me an email and I will give you access to this course. Now, I haven't fully finished these courses, so just, just do bear with me, but this is going to be done in about a week or two. So if you're watching this video later on, I mean, these courses are going to be definitely out there. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.